today we need to get into people saying that Jungkook is being taken advantage of in the military and in trouble. We also need to get into people saying Jungkook is on the phone with a girlfriend and what that is about. And then we have some BTS stalkers that apparently got arrested for going to the military camp. So you don't think this Dave Desai hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, grab it on Planet Hispling Mug merch, and let's go. The first story is absolutely wild as people believe that there were a couple of girls who decided to just travel from Korea from somewhere else far just to meet BTS members at the camp. Now I do want to clarify we have no idea how long ago this particular story was or if this is just a story that happened ages ago but just being reported now so it's not 100% confirmed that they went to Korea to see BTS at the military. However if it is a recent story then that is likely what is going on and what I am going to assume going forward. So what happened and why are people allegedly allegedly going to the camp to see BTS. Well, it was reported that three schoolgirls aged 13, I believe, located somewhere in Southeast Asia, and they took a train to Seoul. For some reason, they believed that if they took a train, they would not need a passport as they were going without their parents' knowledge. It was believed that eventually they were stopped by border patrol and in distressed clothing, and their main goal was to go see BTS in Seoul. Apparently, they felt like when they told their parents about their love of BTS, their parents acted very indifferent and they didn't feel like they had a good outlet to express their love of BTS so they wanted to go meet them. This story was very interesting because it was spun in a way to make it seem like parents need to limit their child's internet and screen time to avoid this sort of obsessive behavior and chucked it up to this being obsessive because they spent too much time online or the parents ignored them or that they don't have an outlet. However this is weird not just because of that but because this is literally stalking. If this happened now then all the girls obviously knew where BTS would be and thus it makes stalking all that much scarier. So they were all going to travel all this way to meet BTS and do what? Also this is not the first story we have ever seen where obsessive fans travel from far and then attempt to shoot their favorite celebrity or whatever it is. Instead of news and family members discouraging the behavior of stalking, they're blaming the internet and consumption of it. And of course in this case there's less concern because the boys are in the military and they have weapons. But it's concerning that it seems like they could even do this if they just got the members addresses which we do know is already somewhat public because people are finding it. And this is also incredibly dangerous for the girls. And I don't even mean due to the unsafe travel they were doing or even the risk of traveling that far by themselves. But there have just been so many celebrities who everyone just thought was okay and fine and then turned out to be doing very illegal and dark things. This fortunately is not BTS members, but if they were doing this with another K-pop idol, explain how this is safe. These articles make it look like, look how far these fangirls will go. No, it's not how far they will go, it's how dangerous this is. Meeting any of the BTS members is the exact same as meeting a stranger you might have found online because we actually don't know anything about these idols. And this is not to say that BTS or whoever are dark and disturbing people doing terrible things. I would urge anyone if they wanted to come meet me to not do that because you don't know who I am as a person in real life. I could be an evil person. It's just not safe. Don't do it. Don't stalk, but do join our community over on Patreon where we fangirl and enjoy loads of BTS and K-pop content. We've always had a great time over there and I'll leave the link at the top of the description. How's that for a transition? The girls were ultimately arrested and then sent back to their family, which is a good ending and thank the Lord, nothing bad happened to them. Because if they did this for BTS and something did happen, I'm sure the boys would feel so horrible about themselves even though it's not their fault. There have been a lot of issues with the military already and a lot of that drama is happening in the military without the idea of a bunch of 13 year old girls sneaking into the military and possibly risking their lives. One of the craziest drama that seems to be existing is that people think Jungkook alongside some of the other BTS members are being taken advantage of in the camp. So I need to give some backstory before we get into what is going on because this one is absolutely insane. BTS members were initially on a segment of the app that focused on celebrities that had enlisted. Essentially it seemed like the military was using the BTS name to get more people to use the app because more users means they can make more money. And it's strange because you would think that an entity like the Korean military would be a nonprofit or whatever and not care about making money, but apparently they do. So many users signed up for the military app to see BTS and then Hybe essentially asked 
the app to take BTS off that section because it was infringing on their intellectual property. Because it was using BTS's face to make money, this was more so a gray thing and I think people were split on this. They started selling these sort of detachable name tags that could go onto the dolls and the name tags had the members names on them. And then apparently dolls too that were sold for like $43 each. The camp was also alleged to create forums and communities within the app to say things like Jin official or Jungkook official. And then this very much infringes on intellectual property because fans will start to feel like this is an official forum or thing by the boys. And so if the military does something the boys don't stand for, it could make the boys seem like they do because the app is essentially impersonating them. And anyone who doesn't know how the app works can be tricked. Now I cannot confirm the dolls and what this is about. I saw a couple of new sites mention dolls, but I have not seen what they look like or how to buy them. So I'm not entirely sure if any of this is fabricated or not. I do want to clarify. It's also believed that Hybe was planning on taking legal action here and getting the military to ultimately stop. People think that Jungkook and other BTS members are being sold for profit and it's not like they're getting any of the profit and it puts the idol in danger. With Jungkook having probably the most American or international audience, it is especially dangerous for him. Those who don't understand how the app works or whatever would be more inclined to think that whatever they see on the app is the real Jungkook because they can't read what it says and social media makes the military app appear like it's a social media app, which I don't think it is. It's not only that, but it's believed that Jungkook might be getting hacked through his phone number. There's been some stalkers online alleging that they are a part of an online community that is a monthly subscription. It is a paid thing, not everyone can join. And then in the community, they will have personal information. One user alleges that they got Jungkook's number somehow, and one of the fans ended up calling Jungkook, which they were not happy about. The number was supposed to just be used to access and monitor Jungkook's iCloud. And if they called Jungkook, then it is likely that Jungkook would change his number. However, the user that claimed that this posted this publicly. So Jungkook could still see the post and then change his number now. But I also want to clarify how this is likely very false. And the fact that this is going viral is so crazy to me because any person who has ever used iCloud would be aware that you don't use your phone number to log into your iCloud account. It's your Apple ID which is likely never even mentioned to his family. So no one has that except himself. Hacking doesn't work that way where you can just get information. These people were able to hack Apple. These people rumoring these things are so stupid because you cannot simply hack Apple, you'd be in jail. Their security is so good and heavily monitored. Back in 2014 when Apple was hacked and their iCloud leaked, that was the last time anything like that was even possible. Every single weak spot has now been patched. This is a multi-billion dollar company. If they asked their employees to help move the moon, it would happen. They also claimed things like on the iCloud, they were able to receive the call logs of Jungkook talking with his girlfriend. I do believe if you were to hack someone's phone, you could receive call logs because that is something Apple keeps. Apple, however, does not record phone calls. I believe that is illegal. They do not have a record of phone calls, so it's already a big red flag on how this is a big lie. There isn't this database that just sits there with every phone call in the world that is ever made. Imagine how much data or memory they would need to even store that. And then how expensive would that be for what reason? They can't make money for keeping these phone calls. I also believe that the boys aren't given smartphones when they enlist. I could be wrong, but I think it's just like a standard small flip phone. And so no, I don't believe Jungkook is talking to his girlfriend or having any of this information hacked. I also don't believe he went into the military with a girlfriend, so he definitely has no time to be in a relationship while he is in the camp. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check on Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.